Hello Adventures, Seraph here. The point of this video is to give you the information you need for the Battle Pass system, the free to play versus the pay to play, so that you can make an informative decision on what's right for you, if you should remain free to play, or if you should delve into the realm of paying for this game, which I have unfortunately done. Let me warn you, it gets addictive. The rewards on the Gnostic Hymn and even the Gnostic Chorus are pretty awesome. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to mention is that at higher world levels, the battle pass becomes less valuable in terms of original resin, because for me to do a Blossom of Wealth or a Blossom of Revelation for the materials, it's going to take a lot less original resin to get those materials versus a new player at the lower world level. The battle pass system is greatly more valuable to them because it takes a lot more original resin to get those same rewards, so keep that in mind as well. Okay, if we look at the Blossom of Revelation here, at world level 8, it's only going to cost me 20 original resin to get anywhere between 6 to 7 adventures experience and 4 to 5 heroes wit. At lower world levels, it will be the same original resin, but you will get less rewards. All the more reason why you should raise your world level as high as possible as soon as possible. Same thing here. 20 original resin to get 60,000 mora at my world level 8. In comparison, if you're at world level 1, it's going to be 12,000 mora. So for the same original resin, you're going to be getting significantly less mora for your resin. Just keep that in mind. So for the free-to-play Sojourner's Battle Pass, we're going to start at level 50, the total rewards you would get if you reach level 50. Five Acquaint Fates, valued at 160 primogems each. That's 800 primogems total. We're going to divide that by 60, and that's the number of primogems you get for four daily commissions and the bonus 20 primogems you get to turn them in. You divide that by 60, the value you get is 13.3 days, meaning it would take you 13.3 days to get 800 primogems outside of the Battle Pass system. Now, you're probably wondering what that even means. I'll get to that um, after we review the Gnostic Hymn, why I brought that up. Now, in terms of total mora, you're going to get 720,000 mora, and I value that at my world level of 8 at 240 original resin to get that amount of mora from a Blossom of Wealth. At lower levels, it will be significantly higher. For example, at world level 0 to 1, using the Blossom of Wealth and turning in original resin, it would take you 1,200 original resin to reach 720,000 mora. Now, when we look at the Mystic Enhancement Ore, um, as you saw in the clip, or maybe I'll add the clip after this part, if you go to the Blacksmith, I might just squeeze it in, actually. Here we are in Mondstadt. In regards to the Mystic Enhancement Ore, that's with the Battle Pass, the value I'm going to use is the one from the blacksmith because for every 10 original resin, no matter the world level you're at, you will get 6 Mystic Enhancement Ore. You'll of course need the Magical Crystal Chunk, but the value will always be 6 Mystic Enhancement Ore for 10 original resin. So you're going to get a total of 96 Mystic Enhancement Ore, which I valued at 160 original resin. For the Hero's Wit, you're going to get 36 Hero's Wit, plus you'll be getting something down here called Adventures Experience, which is valued at less XP, by the way. It changes here at level 21. You're going to get 27 Adventures Experience and 36 Heroes Wit for a total value of 180 Original Resin. Again, that's at my world level. I'm going to be putting a link to the site, the Genshin Wiki Fandom site, where you can look at your world level and compare the values uh, versus higher world levels if that's what you desire to do. So the total value for me for the free-to-play Battle Pass system, Sojourners, would be 800 primogems, we already discussed that, or 13.3 days, and 880 original resin, or 4.8 days, if I divide that by the daily original resin recharge, which is 180 original resin per day, every 24 hours, it came to 4.8 days for me. Again, at lower world levels, that will be much higher, because it will take you more original resin with the ley lines to get the mora and the character level up materials. Okay, moving on. The Gnostic Hymn. The pay-to-play version, and we'll get into the cost in a minute, but let's discuss the totals you will get if you reach level 50. 680 primogems at level 50. 2,160,000 more, which I value at 720 original resin at world level 8. You will get 288 mystic enhancement ores, which again is the same no matter what your world level. I value that, as, I value that at 480 original resin. You will get 126 heroes wit which I valued at 630 original resin. You will get 
Let's see here. Intertwined Fates. You will get five Intertwined Fates, which is for the limited character wishing system versus the permanent one here. Those are the same value though, 160 Primagems for each of those, and they're valued at a total of 800 Primagems, which again you divide by 60, and that uh, comes to the same 13.3 days, but the difference is we're going to add that 680 to that, which comes to 1480 Primagems, and when you divide that by 60 it comes to 24.6 days, and that's where I was going to tell you that if you take the total Primagems you get from the top row, and the total Primagems you get from the bottom row, and you divide that by 60, it comes to, guess what? 40 days, which is the entire length of the battle pass every time it resets is 40 days. I just found that interesting that that's how Mahoyo worked that out. Forgot to mention that in the top row for the Sojourner's Battle Pass, um, you get the five Fragile Resin. They're valued at uh, 300 Original Resin, the same on the bottom, another five valued at uh, 300 Original Resin, so I forgot to mention that apparently. Total uh, rewards you get for the Gnostic Hymn on the lower level 1,480 Prima Gems again, and 2,130 Original Resin for my World Level 8. Again, it would be much higher at lower World Levels, what it would take you to get that amount of Mora and uh, Character Level material. Now let's talk about the cost um, for the Gnostic Hymn. For me, on the Western servers, it cost me $10 for the Gnostic Hymn, and then an additional $10 to get the Gnostic Chorus. The reason why, why you might want to consider the Gnostic Chorus is because you get the name card which is limited every time and it's unique. Now we get this uh, blueprint for whatever it may be at the time. It's going to be for the housing system. It's unique as well. You get five uh, fragile resin to store which are worth 60 original resin apiece. Total value there of 300 original resin. And then the most important thing to get the Gnostic Chorus is you get an advancement of 10 levels on your battle pass immediately. So that's, that's how I was able to get uh, so high so quickly here. And what's important about that is if you've gone so far as to get the Gnostic Hymn and you're struggling to get the levels you need here before the battle period ends, you do not want to miss those rewards. Like for some reason if you're struggling to get the missions done every day and every week, you want to make sure that you do not miss out those rewards on the far right. Because, look, look at this, I mean, 680 Primagems, the more that you get, you get these boxes here with the talent level up materials, which I'm going to go over in a minute as well and uh, you just don't want to miss any of that. So if you think you're going to, I would say go ahead and, and if you've got it, spend the additional money to get the Gnostic Chorus to make sure you get those rewards. And again, it's nice to get the uh, little additional goodies. Uh, one thing I didn't touch on is the talent level materials that you get on the Gnostic Hymn, which are pretty good, but not game-breaking. You only get to pick one of these categories. So Prosperity, Diligence, and Gold, you have to pick one of those, but you get five times that. You do get five times that. Same here, you only get to pick one of those, but you get five times, so five of those purple for whatever category you get. So let's say you pick the Philosophies of Freedom, you get five of those purple, just so to give you a comparison here. Um, Philosophies of Freedom is an upgrade from Guide to Freedom. It takes three Guide to Freedom to make one Philosophies of Freedom. And by the way, it's the same for each of these boxes. You only get to pick one of those groups and you get five times that. So essentially, in terms of value here, um, the five Philosophies of Freedom here is 15 Guides to Freedom just as a comparison. I hope that makes sense. So the biggest deal of all, in my opinion, for the Gnostic Hymn to get it is the weapon box you get at level 30. And that is going to be one of these amazing weapons, which in my opinion are as good, if not better, than the five-star weapons that are out there. Because it comes with a crit rate, for one thing. Like, the stats a crit rate, and it goes very high. And then it has really awesome additional stats as well. And that's even without refining it. It has really awesome stats. This one makes a cyclone uh, half the time, for example. And just to show you what they look like, just, an just so you have an idea of what they look like when they're uh, leveled up in advanced. Again, there's no refinement on this weapon, but this is what it looks like. It has a nice glow to it once you get it to uh, max level. So that's the bow. Here's the deathmatch spear. Just gonna let each one of them go around once so you can see what it looks like. Here is the black sword. Very beautiful. And I was letting you look at the stats as well. Now this one I need to get to level uh, 90. As a matter of fact, why did I not? It's gonna cost me 224,000 more. Well, let's do it. Crit rate didn't go up that much higher, but uh, base attack and crit rate combined. I think it's worth it. Okay. 
So there's that one at uh, max level. Very nice. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the sol solar pearl, and that's where I need to explain something else. You want to be very careful when you're going through the battle pass system that if you have any boxes you haven't claimed the reward for, whatever you do, do not hit the claim all option because that's what happened to me. And that's why I have this sword down here that I'm still happy to have, but I'm going to, and I'm not going to level it up or I'm not going to refine it either. I'm not going to put it into um, this sword here. I don't want to make it refinement level two because on its own, it's powerful enough. I'd rather have another level 90 sword for another character to have as well. So I can have two characters on my team with swords essentially. But if we go and we look at the battle pass system, what happens is when you unlock these rewards, there will be an option that pops up in the lower right that says claim all. Whatever you do, do not press that if you have boxes you have unclaimed rewards for, because what will happen is Mahoya will just automatically give you the top option there. So for this, they'd automatically give you Guide to Freedom. For this one, they'd automatically give you Guide to Prosperity. And unfortunately for the weapon, they automatically give you the top weapon in the box, which apparently is the sword. So just make sure you keep that in mind and don't make that mistake. Okay, that's pretty much it. I tried not to make this video drag on for too long. I apologize if it's longer than than I should have. I did my best. If you like this for some reason, maybe give me a like. Smash subscribe if it's your first time. In the description for this video, I will put the link to the Genshin Wiki fandom where you can go and look up the rewards at your current world level for the Ley Lines of Wealth, the Ley Lines of Revelation for the Mora and the character level of material. And I'll also put all the stats I compiled there for the totals on the Battle Pass system, both the free-to-play and the pay-to-play. And I hope you find it useful. I'll catch you on the next one.